Hey guys, All In Crypto here and welcome back to another YouTube video. So first guys, let me just start by apologising for not making a video in over a week. Um, I've been very busy with work um, because during the lockdown uh, in the UK, um, the line of work that I do, a lot of people couldn't get the treatment. So when um, the lockdown restrictions eased, uh, we had this bottleneck effect and I've been sort of catching up on three months of work um, in a month or so. Um, so guys, uh, this is going to be a video about what's going on in the cryptocurrency market. I've seen a lot of people being very bearish, a lot of people being very negative, a lot of people being very pessimistic. I'm here to tell you guys that there's no reason for that. Um, not only is there no reason for that, um, if you, you, th there's right now I think the whole crypto market sold off by about 20%. I think we lost about 60, 70 billion, uh, which is a hell of a lot of money. Um, certainly because of the immature sort of market that we're in. People are probably going to get upset that I said an immature market. It's a very immature market, um, not only in a monetary term, but also in the, in, in the sense of a lot of the people that are actually in it. Um, the amount of videos that I see when I go on YouTube of people um, clickbaiting you, um, telling you that you're going to be a millionaire in six months, um, that you can make 20 grand a month off, you know, swapping this coin for this coin and wrapping this and, and defying this and doing that and doing this and that and the other. When stuff like this happens, a lot of those people really don't have an answer for it. And the answer to me, guys, with why we saw this sort of pullback and this sell-off, um, uh, yeah, 20% 20, 20 sell-off. Um, we're at three, $311 billion in terms of market cap. Very small market cap. I've made up videos on that. I suggest you go and uh, check them out um, in terms of how small the market is cap of cryptos in comparison with other markets and how much room it has to grow. Um, but we, there's, there's no reason for people to be so bearish right now. Uh, these people don't have an answer for why it's happening. To me, the answer is very simple. It's the uncertainty around the world due to the current pandemic. Um, it's not a... It, it, it's cryptocurrencies as a result of this pandemic and the global state of the world, the uncertainty uh, in terms of monetary policy, the uncertainty in terms of a number of things socially and uh, financially um, is causing people to um, be kind of sheepish when it comes to investing. And that, um, I, I think, as we, to me, there's a big correlation between the fact, if we can see here, the daily number of cases has risen and the crypto market has gone down. Um, other stocks are currently experiencing a bit of a sell off. Um, we aren't doing too badly today. We're sort of maybe. Um, going up slightly in certain coins. Um, some stocks are selling off right now. The stock market was basically inflated um, anyway by the fact that the uh, certainly in the US, a lot of the money that they were sort of printing and, and giving out in stimulus was going straight into the stock market. It wasn't really coming into the crypto market. You had some retail investors that were um, taking their um, it's furlough in the UK stimulus checks um, and putting it into crypto which wasn't a bad idea, isn't a bad idea, I don't think. I'm not a financial advisor. Don't take this as financial advice. This is all my opinion. Um, I'm just trying to be as honest with you guys as I possibly can. I am a crypto investor. I am not a trader. I do take some small trades over a short period of time. Short period meaning one month to three to six months. That's a short period for me. I'm a long-term macro trader, I guess. If you want to call me a trader of any sort, I deal really with the fundamentals. I'm not necessarily a technical an an analyst. I'm not necessarily a technical analyzer, um, but I do follow a lot of technical analysis. Um, and I just think it's good to have a well-rounded view when you're investing into the crypto market. A lot of people are in the crypto market when I talk about immaturity because somebody told them to get into it and said that this is going to happen, that's going to happen, and they didn't do any of their own research. They put money in. We've sold off 20%, and they're going... What? What? You know, this is how crypto works. Such a volatile market because of the market cap, uh, because of a number of reasons, uh, mainly because of the market cap and how easily uh, the market can be moved um, with certain net worth individuals or certain groups of individuals that want to try and move it. Is the market manipulated? Could well be. Um, but crying about that is not really going to get you anywhere. I, one reason I'm not a trader is because I couldn't tell you the amount of times that I've gone, I think Bitcoin will go down tomorrow, or I think this coin will go down tomorrow, or the market will go down tomorrow. So I'll wait and put it on tomorrow, and boom, it's gone the other way. Or the amount of times that, it, the amount of times I've 
unsuccessfully executed a very short-term trade. Um, it, for me, the odds are very much stacked against you as a trader. Um, you're competing against people that are literally in the know and have far more better understanding of where the markets are going to go than you do. Um, if you if Exchanges, I am sure sell on the information that they have, uh, or, or if not sell it on, they use it for their own advantage. Why would they not? Because it's illegal? When has that stopped anybody um, financially from, do, from doing something? Um, so, so, yeah, this video is just really to tell you guys about what I think is going on. I think because of the pandemic, because of the uncertainty around the world, it's making people reluctant to put their money in. For those people that think we're going to have a lockdown times two, um, they know what happened in the last lockdown. It's evident on every single chart. And you were better off holding cash at the start of when the market started to drop and accumulating at the bottom if you could execute that. There's a lot of people that uh, sort of tried that as it was selling off. It went up and then they sort of, you know, they, they were minus uh, 20% or 10% of their Bitcoin holdings because they had to then get back in at a higher price. That happens to so many people. This market is brutal. Um, and if you're going to try and trade it and you're going to try and navigate these treacherous waters, you better know what you're doing or you're going to get wrecked. Uh, me personally... I take everything on board. I'm an accumulator of cryptocurrencies. I'm an accumulator of Bitcoin. I am all in crypto, other than the money that I need to live on a monthly basis and pay my bills and make sure everybody's comfortable and secure. All my money, all my savings. I do have some other investments, but they're nowhere near compared to my crypto investments. I am. I have never been more bullish on cryptocurrencies. I live in the UK. Uh, the Premier League here is a massive thing. We've recently found out that Southampton are going to have the Bitcoin logo on the front of their shirt. Um, I think it's to do with some sort of a betting uh, um, uh, company or something like that. That for me is, um, okay, that doesn't really uh, alter the tech or anything like that. But the, 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 sh the sheer... Uh, fact that people will be getting used to and familiar with that logo and that kind of, you know, it, it, there's never been more reason for me to be bullish on the crypto market. Um, a lot of people are very disappointed that we've pulled back. Um, I keep reminding people, this is the Bitcoin chart, that even in the 2017, you know, big run up, we were having 20, 30% pullbacks. It's one reason I don't necessarily try and jump in and out of coins. Okay, occasionally I will convert maybe my Bitcoin into uh, Tether just so that I can get back in at a lower price. But even then, I can tell you a number of occasions where I've thought, Billy Big Bollocks here, I'll try that. And what essentially happens is I end up, you know, getting in at a higher price because things don't, things never go the way that you plan. That could just be because I'm a bad trader. I don't know. But investment wise, even though we've seen this pullback, I am still massively up on the majority of my investments. Um, there are certain uh, coins where I'm up, but if you want to look at it as individual time points, XRP is one where I have, there are still small holdings of XRP that are still underwater, but my bag as a whole of XRP is up just because I was accumulating a lot of that 14 cents, 13 cents, uh, you know, 16, 18, and you know, we're, we're still up. Um, but this video really was just to try and tell you guys that there's no reason to be bearish. Um, I actually think short term there probably is a reason to be bearish that we are going to sell off. Um, but on a macro scale, we are in a macro bull. We are in the bull run, I believe. I think we've broken so many dis dis uh, descending resistance um, on a number of different coins um, that, you know, the, the, the market cap, you know, the, the, the altcoin market cap is moving in the right direction. Everything's moving in the right direction. Because of the volatility of this market, of course you're um, going to have pullbacks. You know, you have a number of individuals that could put their money together and go, hey, we're going to sell and we're going to bring the price down and we're going to accumulate once we've done that. I think that happens time and time again in crypto. I think that's going to continue to happen until the market gets more stable. This market has so much to prove. Certainly I, I hear so much talk about institutional investors, institutional this. If I was an institutional investor and I had trillions or hundreds of billions of um, sort of investment uh, capital to play with, I would probably not put it in the crypto market due to the volatility of it. The crypto market hasn't proved itself enough for me to stick that money in. And there are certain uh, companies out there that literally have trillions of dollars under management. And if they put $1 trillion in, 
That is not a safe bet. Why, why, why would they do that? Because, for a start, the liquidity isn't there for them to get out. Uh, theoretically, if they wanted to sell and get out, they'd need the trillion uh, equivalent in buying power, which isn't there. Um, and if, 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 let's say, they did it at 20k and it ended up at 3, you're going to have a lot of pissed off people that you put a trillion uh, dollars in and you, you're now left with 50 billion or, or whatever the sum might be. More than that, I don't think it's, I think 80% or something it sold off uh, from its highs to its lows. Um, but it's, you, you get where I'm coming from. This market hasn't proved itself. There are a lot of companies out there that can't get into Bitcoin until it hits about $50,000. And then they can start investing and playing. And that's when the huge, you know, when these things sort of, um, due to the small, I, I bang on about market cap a lot. I made a video about how small the market cap is and how much room we have to grow. And the reason I bang on about it is I don't think you should trade based on a market cap. Uh, I actually go for the higher market cap coins, even though I know they have more to go to double or triple or, or quadruple or whatever. Um, just because they're slightly more stable. Um, you're seeing it certainly in the DeFi space. You're seeing a lot of people get wrecked. I know there was a coin, hot dog coin or something that... Um, pumped and then literally dropped and there's other coins I think uh, Sushi Coin I could be wrong um, the guy that founded it sold all, swapped all his tokens for ETH and it crashed as a result of that and um, people got left with egg on their face but hey ho guys if you are playing that game if when you play with fire you get burnt um, you shouldn't be in that game if that's how you think things are going to go um, so guys I just really wanted to say that uh, first of all touch base with you guys um, like I haven't made a video in a little while just been extremely busy with work um and I, I was gonna say the real world but this is the real world uh, the fact that we're selling off i think is just due to uncertainty i think it's due to the unknown i think it's due to a number of things but the fact that we, we've printed so much money and bitcoin's such a small uh market cap it just shows the room of growth i mean you know globally who knows what we've printed but the us alone five trillion dollars that, that, that a lot of the times they just pump that straight the fed balance sheet went up by uh, 40%, 30%, something like that. I could be wrong on my figures. Um, recently, due to the fact that they were accumulating, they're, they're propping the markets up here, guys. Bitcoin has never been such a good hedge against the, the uh, inflation. Um, Powell came out the other day and said they're going to let inflation run. How does that look? For your, your people that have worked and they have saved their money like a good little citizen and they have put it into a, a, an ISA or a cash uh, deposit or whatever, whatever, and now you're devaluating the value of that money. Now, they, a lot of people reckon this sell-off was due to the dollar gaining some sort of um, strength, but there's no reason the dollar can't go up in strength in comparison with other currencies around the world and certain assets and Bitcoin can't as well. There's, they, they are necessarily they're anti fear uh, the same way gold, silver, um, real estate, uh, sort of real estate, um, stocks, sort of, are all essentially anti-fiats. Um, when fiat goes up, you kind of expect that seesaw effect, and it does kind of play out. But reason, really the reason that I wanted to make this video is just to tell you guys there is no reason to be super uh, bearish. In the short term, yes. Here's, here's some scenarios that I've kind of drawn that I think that Bitcoin – could possibly follow these and these would follow fantastic patterns for me it would really continuation patterns i don't think they'll maybe necessarily go up like this they could who knows this isn't exact but these are sort of the the scenarios i think we, i think we could possibly maybe see the six k's again i don't think we'll go lower than that i certainly don't think we'll see threes i certainly don't even really think we'll see fives that's probably the unlikeliest situation that we go down to six we go to eight pretty likely seven maybe uh, but I think really we sell off maybe below 10K or we, you know, well, we we nearly have sort of sold up uh, below 10K already, but we, we sell off and then we sort of spring loaded effect, boom. Um, these, none of these could happen. Something else completely could happen. But these are the sort of scenarios that I'm looking out for. Um, I think we're going to find uh, support in areas. Um, I think support may in some cases turn into resistance. Um but it just really creates a spring-loaded effect. And if you, if I'm into Bitcoin because of the fundamentals of Bitcoin, and I'm into cryptocurrency because of the fundamentals, and I'm, I think it's very convenient um, that um, cryptocurrencies have come along at the time that they have. I don't know whether that's a coincidence, whether that was planned, whether that well, and it, certainly by uh, Satoshi, uh, whoever, whatever, however they are, or 
whatever, created uh, Bitcoin almost to combat what was going on in 2008. And in 2008, I think that um, this may just be a UK figure or it may be a UK and the US figure. We printed something like eight, uh, 800 billion. We weren't talking trillions. We're talking five trillion in the US alone this year. We're getting we we are getting silly. It's like it's like a drug addict getting his fix with these guys printing money, and they're going to keep doing it because they can't not do it. Certainly with elections and stuff like that, they don't want the bubble to pop on them. Not that it is a bubble. I'm not calling. I'm not saying it's a bubble, but they don't want the uh, house of cards to fall down on them, and you know that affect them getting elected whenever or whatever. Um, so they're going to keep doing it, guys. And the more money they print. The more reason I have to be bullish on uh, cryptocurrencies, um, if I had, uh, put it this way, if I had not invested that money into crypto and I had just left it in my bank, I wouldn't have as much money as I currently have now. Um, and I'm not talking, I, I, I never got in uh, before the 2017 bull run. I got in as, I got in sort of as we were peaking and coming back down and I sold out. I, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't, wasn't playing with a very uh, large sum of money. However, I um, got liquidated on a number of uh, exchanges. I made a hell of a lot of mistakes. Um, I didn't know what I was doing. Like I say, I really got into the market because somebody told me to who also didn't know what they were doing. Um, and I've made the mistakes. I'm not um, saying that I am the best trader in the world. I'm not saying that I'm the best this or that or the best investor. I'm just saying I've made those mistakes. I have learned from those mistakes and I'm taking those mistakes forward with me. And I, the, Bitcoin, the Bitcoin price could drop to um, 8, 7K. I'd still be largely up in profit um, because I've accumulated the right, at the right time. Don't get me wrong, I've, I have accumulated Bitcoin at, above those prices and will continue to do so. I've taken advantage recently of this dip that's just happened and I've already told you guys I think we could possibly be going lower but I'll be taking advantage of that as well and I'll be moving forward. I'm in the game of accumulating cryptocurrencies um, because the market is going to grow. It's an emerging market. Um, it, it needs to prove itself and so far all it's done is prove that it can go from 20k to 3k and you could get wrecked. And if you were a hedge fund or you were a big institutional investor, you, you're going to lose your job. You're probably going to, you know, you're not going to be very popular, um, put it that way. So, guys, I just wanted to make this video to say, please don't be scared. Don't panic. Um, we are, I believe, in the bull run. I think we. It, it, it's not a typical bull run because of the complications we've had. However, I don't think it really changes uh, much the same. Um, you know, you, you, these coins are so small in market cap that they have such a room to grow. As long as the use case is there and for certain coins, certainly XRP, XRP, I have a love-hate relationship with because it's been the probably one of the least profitable coins to hold, um, and the um, sort of least um, exciting maybe um, coin to hold. However, the um, it's one of the only coins that's actually being used um, for a use case, um, and there are a number of other coins. Chainlink, I'm a huge fan of Chainlink. Uh, Polkadot, I'm out of Polkadot now. I'm not in Polkadot anymore. I sold all my Polkadot. I want to be transparent as I can with you guys. That was a short-term trade that I held over a couple of months, uh, just over two months, and I'm out of Polkadot now. Um, it, it could still go up. It could perform, but I, I think my money's better placed in other places. I could be totally wrong. I'm not telling you to do that. I do what you, um, what you have uh, informally researched and the decision that you come to from that you know do that do your own own research do your own sort of analysis yes listen to people but take that advice and add it to the overall uh, graph of where you're you're going and what you're doing and and for the people that are scared right now and 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 worried maybe you have too much money in the crypto market because yes i'm all in crypto but I'm young enough where if I if crypto goes to zero and I lose all that money, I'll start again. I'll learn the lesson from it. I'll take the lesson on board. I'll learn from it and I'll start again on something else. I'm young enough to do that. And you know, I think that whether you're young enough or not, you know, if, if you're in a position where you can do that, then um, by all means, the 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 uh, reward far outweighs the risk for me. 
um, the risk is I lose the money and I have to start again um, and you know start up an investment part again and, and kind of go down that route. But the reward is I could be set up for life and who knows where that takes me. Who knows how much money that makes me. Uh, so guys, this is just a short video. Like I say, I'd lo love touching base with you guys. I've been getting a lot of positive feedback. Um, I, uh, I'm in a lot of groups on a lot of the social medias where I sort of put my input and it's fantastic. And they've been saying, hey, look, make, maybe make some, some videos. Um, I haven't really promoted my channel on those platforms because they have rules and et cetera, et cetera. But they've been saying, hey, why don't you make videos and stuff like that? you know so so yeah so guys thanks very much for watching this video i hope you're all having a fantastic week i hope nobody's finding this too tough this is where you earn your money as an investor um you make the informed decisions accordingly uh, as a result of what's going on like i say the sell-off and the uncertainty and why we're not sort of shooting off number of reasons one the market isn't big enough for institutions to get into uh two the uncertainty around the world as terms of socially as well as um monetarily um, it's very uncertain and people are reluctant and also people might be trying to catch a further dip, which I think we're going to have. I think we are going to dip. Um, probably. I think we are going to go a little bit lower, but guys I, on that note, I couldn't tell you how many times I have waited for the price to go lower to accumulate and it's done the opposite, uh, vice versa. So guys, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of the week. Uh, if you can subscribe, that'd be much appreciated and leave me a like and a comment. Tell me what you thought about this. Tell me how you feel uh, about what's going on at the moment. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Have a great day.